Clay, let's go to the L.A. Rams. I think the L.A. Rams are in an interesting spot here. All right, Matt Stafford, elite. All right, he is he is an elite quarterback in the league. I put him in the top five, top six, wherever that tier break is. Matt Stafford is in that upper tier. All right, he's fantastic. But this Rams team is, in some ways, it's getting old, and in some ways, it's too young. Right, Cooper Cup goes down. He doesn't have any weapons. The defense is young. It's actually pretty good, but it's young and inexperienced. Stafford's getting beat up. The O-line isn't fantastic. The LA Rams have an interesting window here. After this year, they can either trade Matt Stafford, get a new quarterback, Shadur Sanders, Quinn Ewers, whoever you want there, or they have a lot of draft picks. They're loading up one more year. Maybe they trade a few of them for some veterans. And next year, Stafford, one last run. Let's see if you can go do it. Let's pray for health. And let's go try to win one more with Sean McVay and Matt Stafford. I don't know if McVay has any interest in going through a rebuild. I'm not sure that's his personality. He's always good. I don't know if he's a bad enough coach to coach a rebuild because he'll screw it up and get you like the 12th pick even though you don't have a good roster like he's that good of a coach (laughs) I'm not sure if he's capable of a full rebuild so you might as well keep Matt Stafford I don't know how I see it going but I think there is a big crossroads here for the LA Rams coming up over this next six months or so Clayton how do you see this one playing out do you agree that they have a big decision to make at the end of this year First thing I'm going to argue is Matt Stafford is not a top five quarterback for sure. I have him at like 12 in my league. I'm talking this year too. You're looking over his career. He's great. But this year, um, he's a good quarterback, but he's not elite in my opinion. That being said, the Ram- <laughs> Sean McVay is too good of a coach to tank for sure. There's no chance it's ever going to happen with him. I think I can tell you the right thing to do, and I can tell you the wrong thing to do potentially, unless the... The right thing to do is to draft a quarterback with a low pick next year. Um, I assume, assuming that they just, not necessarily tank, but they just don't do well the rest of the season. There's a there's a good amount of quarterbacks in this draft class coming up. Yeah, you go, you can go to the Shader Sanders if you want to go the flashy ticket sales route. Uh, the Quinn Ewers if you're looking. I think Quinn Ewers' play style resembles Matt Stafford's. I think it would be a good, uh, a good pick there. That being said, I think the right thing to do is to put whoever rookie gets drafted behind Matt Stafford, do the Packers, do the uh, the Chiefs way of letting a quarterback acclimate to the NFL and then let him go uh, play the next season. So if you get a, the right thing to do is draft a quarterback, put him behind Matt Stafford, let him sit for a year. The wrong thing to do is to draft a rookie quarterback and just throw him into the wolves, I think. I don't think that works out very much, and if you can avoid it, you definitely should at all costs. I don't know who Matt Stafford is, though, personally, so I don't know if he'd be offended if you went and drafted a quarterback and tell him, you know, telling him this is end of the road for you here one or two years. So is he going to force a trade? And what can he even get for a Matt Stafford trade at this point? So there's a lot of question marks, a lot of season left to be played. Cooper Cup, if, if they trade Matt Stafford, you trade Cooper Cup too. It's, oh, yeah. You have to get some value out of him while you still can because he's had so many injury issues recently that he's starting to kind of hit that cliff. I think he's 31 if I off the top of my head. I'm not exactly sure his age. I think that's where I put him yeah. mentally. You got Puka Nakua behind him who's going to be your future stud. You can run the same scheme. So this team's got to get younger if it doesn't work out this year, which is looking like it's not going to. Um, always invest more in the offensive line here too. So a lot, a lot up in the air. But this could potentially be Matt Stafford's last season, or maybe next season's his last season in LA before he either retires, gets traded, or you know whatnot. So, who yeah, knows? Stafford's only 36, 37 years old, but he's an old 36 years old. Like that dude has been beat up a lot in his NFL career. He took a beating with the Lions over and over again. One of these days, he's not going to get back up. As far as who would trade for Matt Stafford, any team that feels like they're just a quarterback away, feel like they have a good roster and they just need to insert the quarterback. The Tennessee Titans come to mind, right? They got some weapons. That defense, especially that defensive line, is pretty dang good. I'd like to see Matt Stafford on the Titans maybe. Maybe the New York Giants. We can talk about them in a little bit here, but yeah, good defensive line. That would be, really, that'd be yeah. really fun to see him with neighbors. 
Scott Neighbors, the offensive line kind of rounding into form. The New York Giants, no disrespect to Daniel Jones, who's actually played pretty good this year. Um, funniest situation in the NFL, the Cleveland Browns. Matt Stafford would do great in Cleveland. Like, he would. He would. <laughs> There's no way that could happen, but he'd do great in Cleveland. Cleveland's a good roster. 